Good morning, everybody. Welcome here back to my channel. Welcome to just another day in my life. I am having quite the bad hair day as I'm looking, but you know. Today, I thought it would be really fun to take you guys into what I do all day. Um, I know I share a lot of like days in my life, work weeks in my life, but it's very like I'm doing this and then I'm doing this and I'm doing this and I like speed through it and whatever. Um, but I thought that it might be interesting for those of you who are interested in what I do like specifically as a brand manager um, because that is what I do um, full time with Sebastian. So hopefully you guys enjoy this and it's interesting. I think it'll be exciting to share. It's a brand new video, something new that I haven't done before and it'll kind of just change up the vlogs a little bit. So subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you here on my channel for the next video. Video, and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video every time I upload because um, I do stay consistent but sometimes the times are a little bit different so you don't want to miss a video so hit that bell and subscribe if you're new and it is eight o'clock I've showered I tried to do my hair I didn't do my makeup today just because I do want to try to film um, an IGTV video, which I'm very excited about. I talked about it in my favorites video if you didn't see that. But yeah, I've been wanting to do just like my makeup routine. So I've left it for that and I'll do my makeup a little bit later. Why do I have a frog in my throat? I'm also currently starving. <laughs> Sebastian and I are doing intermittent fasting. Um, we just, I don't know what made us want to do it, but we just decided yesterday to do it and at night, it's super easy for me actually. Well, I guess I shouldn't say super easy because I was wanting cereal at like 10 p.m. But having dinner, like you guys might have seen like within our vlogs, like we have dinner so late, like seven, eight, nine o'clock. Like we just leave it to the very last second and then it's like we're super heavy and like full at night. So we were like, okay, let's at least try to have dinner by like 5.36. And so we did that yesterday. And although I was not hungry for dinner at all, like I felt like I was eating dinner like way too early. My stomach like wasn't ready for it. I wasn't hungry. I still ate it and I felt really good um but i did have that moment of wanting cereal <laughs> when i was watching one Tree hill last night i'm back on that kick i don't know what it is i think because i'm trying to save gilmore girls for like september october um i'm trying just to watch something else so i started watching one Tree hill again and i think that comes from like reading hillary's book and and all of that so um yeah i wanted some cereal but that's okay i think i can eat at 11 or 12 I'm gonna say 11 <laughs> but I have but I have my lemon water here which I'm still working on and I wish I could have my coffee but I have creamer in it I don't know it's like weird like I like intermittent fasting for like like I said like nighttime like being very like strict on when you eat dinner I think that's great but like as far as like technically I already broke it Sebastian said because I'm having lemon water but it's like I love lemon water and I feel like it's really good for me so I'm not gonna like deprive myself of that and then I also like just want my coffee I don't know it's so silly but I just don't like living this way but i like living within that time frame so i think i might adjust it for me because i'm obviously not doing it for like a diet i'm just doing it to like feel better at night i don't know <laughs> i don't know where this is going and then i'm nervous to work out and then be hungry anyway um long rambly intro to my morning but i just sat down um to get started and also like start with my to-do list so i guess i should just tell you guys kind of like what it is that i do i can't show like super specific things just because we are working with clients and have like contracts and stuff like that and it's just i feel better just kind of like glazing over things rather than like going into specifics of their pictures their instagram all of that um but being a brand manager is very very fun i love it um but it's also like a lot of work especially like this is the first time that i'm doing it i mean i'm technically in like my second month basically like it's about to be august um so i haven't been doing it for long so it's still very scary and very new and i get very like overwhelmed which i think is something that like i haven't really shared a ton of just because i try to just be very positive online and although i have a very positive outlook on my job um there's some days that are very overwhelming just because it's brand new and scary and obviously like 
have Sebastian to lean on um, but a lot of this is like I have to figure it out and um, that will just help me you know in the future as well so anyway um, I really love it and it's a lot of fun it's a lot of different projects and it's a lot of just like on my time and I schedule it out which of course is what I love so basically right now we have one client and what we're doing is helping her come up with post ideas so kind of a disclaimer like we don't do any content creation we don't take any photos we don't make any videos um we do make the carousels for her we do have a graphic designer that we work with that's on our team and we love her and she's great and she helps us make carousels for her instagram um and then we also do have a video editor obviously i do edit my own personal youtube videos but in no way am I good enough to do that for somebody else. So we have a video editor that we work with that helps us. And so basically me and Sebastian meet with, um, you know, potential clients and we help figure out like, okay, what do they want to change about their social media presence or what do they want to add? And we help them kind of come up with a content strategy. So um, weeks and weeks ago, I met with our client and I just kind of brainstormed ideas for her, for her Instagram. So for example, I gave her like 15 photo ideas. So take a picture of this and take a picture of this and that and your coffee and whatever. And, um, she goes out and takes all these pictures and then she gives them back to us and we're in charge of editing them and then like formatting her Instagram. I think I vlogged a day when I did like the calendar, um, and just kind of like figuring out how her Instagram feed is gonna look and the layout for that. Um, and so she does that and we hold on to those assets and then we also do the same thing with YouTube videos. So we tell her, um, okay, based off of, you know, your interest and your work and your profession and all of this, like make a video about this and this and this. And she goes out, makes those videos. We come back and we review them, send them off to our editor. Um, and then we also take those YouTube videos and cut them into um, IGTV videos, which is awesome for her. So it's basically just helping her like repurpose all of her content in a new way. Um, and definitely, yeah, just changing up her Instagram. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's brand new to me. We're still in the reviewing and editing and creating stage. So yeah, so I haven't posted anything yet for her. That's coming up in a couple weeks, which will be really exciting. It's very like nerve wracking to have all of this, um, like, you know, these pictures and videos and things like that just sitting and like we're gonna see how they perform and yeah it's just gonna be a lot of fun when that actually like goes live and we can like see everything um so that's kind of like an overview of what i do um but within that is just a lot like i said i'm reviewing youtube videos so i have to review her intro if it's good if there's any changes that need to be made an end slate, um, like just so many different little things that you could think of, like making sure the font matches her font that she's given us and um, following her brand guide and just so, so, so many things. Um, currently right now, we are taking the YouTube videos that she's filmed and cutting them into IGTV videos. So we are in charge, well, I'm in charge of reviewing those long form videos and saying, oh, from minute one to minute three, that's a great um, point. So let's cut it up and let's put it on Instagram. And so I've done that with all of her videos. And I actually have a meeting today with Sebastian because he is like amazing at these things. Like, I've seen that just like firsthand. I'm really good at like this admin task and being the middleman and the project manager. I feel really comfortable with that when it comes to knowing social media and knowing the ins and outs and I don't know, just having like so much knowledge about it. Like he is the man. So I let him, and obviously like at the end of the day, Spread Social is his. And so I want, like I would never send anything to the client without having him approve it first. I just do not feel comfortable with that. So we're gonna sit down, kind of a longer meeting today and go over all of those cuts that I've said to make. And he can also like approve those and then we'll get them off to our editor and get those set. And then, yeah. And then what else did I have to do today? I wrote it in my new notebook. <laughs> I've been like having a lot of notebooks and so I don't really know what to do with this one because I didn't really, I have other notebooks but I really wanted to use this one. So I made this like my meeting. Sometimes I do meeting notes on like a doc but 
I feel like that's when it's with like other people involved, like our client, but when it's being smashed and I just write it on paper and I really love it. So yeah, he has to approve those IG TV videos. And then I just kind of wrote up a couple questions that I think we could use for those videos at the end and I'll have Sebastian approve them. And just a lot of like approving. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, that's kind of, I will obviously like talk deeper into my projects as I'm doing them, but I figured I would give just like an overview of kind of what the cycle looks like. And then there's, yeah, tons of back and forth in between that. So I've sat down to do my to-do list. I basically did everything yesterday except run. <laughs> it started to like rain and get, um, like cold and windy, so I didn't want to, but I'm gonna sit down here, do my to-do list, and then we will go over the to-do list together. Okay, this is kind of what I have going on today. I had a busier day yesterday, so today is not looking too bad. And a lot of it is just gonna be like this meeting and just like a follow-up email after. So I really don't have too much going on, which is really nice. Um, so the first thing, like I mentioned, I'm gonna meet with Sebastian. We're gonna do all of that approval and everything. And then I'm going to send our video editor those IGTV clips that we approved. Um, and then along with that, there's just some other like editing notes that I have to send to our editor. Um, just to kind of change things up and we have adjustments that need to be made all of that i did my first grocery pickup <laughs> i ordered online which i don't know i'm still kind of iffy about it i do understand that like i did save a ton more money which was awesome because i really like didn't know what i needed like there was no room for browsing <laughs> basically so that was good we'll see how i feel about it um but yeah i have to pick that up i think at one o'clock and then i also have to wrap my sister's birthday present <laughs> um because i'm going to dinner um with my well i'm just having dinner at my mom's house but i have to wrap her present get that ready yeah that's basically all i have on my to do list sometimes like i add to it as the day goes on but i don't like to put too much just because like then I feel like I get overwhelmed. So I put the main things that I don't want to forget to do. And then if anything else comes up, it comes up and I finish it and all of that. So yeah, that is the first thing. I'm going to hop on my emails now, make sure that I didn't miss anything. I don't have a ton of emails coming through. Um, like I said, we only have the one client right now. And I communicate with our other team members like through different channels like Upwork and Asana. So I really don't use my email a ton, um, but I just like to make sure it's all up to date. And then, yeah, that's kind of how I get my day started. Another thing after I'm done checking my emails, I'll also check my YouTube dashboard. YouTube is something that I do as well full time. Um, it's not like making me money full time, but it's something that I work on all of the time. So it's a huge priority to me. I just uploaded a video yesterday, so I just want to see how that did. Check my watch hours, check all of that, check the comments. I kind of look at it like throughout the day as it's uploaded, but then once it has time to sit there for the first day, then I go back and look at the analytics and see how it did. hours later and my camera battery actually died while I was doing emails and YouTube and all that stuff but I'm actually already in my meeting with Sebastian so I thought I'd pick up the camera and do um, a little meeting what we're doing now is going over the YouTube videos you want to say hello the YouTube videos that were sent to us and um, mapping out when to cut them for IGTV videos and all of that and it's a process it's a process but let me give you guys a quick tip <laughs> So if you want to make content, a lot of content, but you don't know how to do it, oof. the way that we teach our clients to do this is we ask them to make a long form type of content. So a YouTube video that could be 5, 10, 15 minutes long. And now what we do is we break it up into tiny little chunks. So one YouTube video could have um, an IG video of 30 seconds or 2 minutes. Uh, but the idea is that 
once the client creates one long form piece of content, we're able to break it up into at least three to five pieces of content uh, that we can later uh, repurpose on their social media. So this saves them a ton of time and also saves us a lot of time because uh, like Carly's saying, like we are in charge of um, what, eight videos per month for IG and um, we're able to do this fairly quickly once they send us like a, a long video like this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're so good. Um, this is like basically what it looks like. Like we just have time frames of little short videos. So that's what we're doing now. Oh my gosh, my boss is so hot. <laughs> so <laughs> um, yeah, that's basically what we're doing now. So I thought I would just pick up the camera um, and you guys can kind of watch us do a little time lapse of us working. And I also broke my fast for a cup of coffee. <laughs> so I think this one is, well, it was gonna finish at three something, right? Yeah. I finished this one at 122. I feel like, yeah, I yeah, put it here. Yeah, we had it at 334. Oh no, 218, 218, sorry. Okay. I think that one's pretty good, and that one just talks about preparing yourself the night before. Do you still like this intro, or this has no intro? I feel like, let's not do an intro. It is 10.35, we've taken a break from our meeting to make breakfast burritos. Look at this, we got some eggs going, some sausage, onion, tomato. And then after we eat, it's back to work. What do you say, ow? <laughs> I'm gonna put some salsa on them. Yeah. On them. Oh, can I put some chulula on them? No. I don't like chulula. Ah, uh, no. That's your personal. Is it water jar you they said you wanted to keep? Yeah, for later. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to chase you, huh? This is what Sebastian does to me. I can't chase you because I have my milk. <laughs> because I have my milk. <laughs> like every day, he chases me? me up the stairs. Sebastian also pointed out this glorious line. I totally didn't see it. I did not see it. I did not do a great job at tanning my face last night, so. Sorry, I'm just now noticing that, but we are back. Back to the office. What, what do you say, maybe an hour? Maybe two? Yeah, I think an hour is good. Yeah, I do have to leave at one to pick up the groceries, so that's my goal. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I am back in my office now and just finished up with Sebastian. We started at like nine. We did take a break for breakfast, but my brain is mush, but it's all good things. Um, a lot of what we're doing, I mean, this is our first client ever, so a lot of what we're doing is testing out processes and like realizing <laughs> they don't work and so redefining them. Um, we use a program called Asana. It's pretty similar to Trello. Um, it's just like a project management tool um, that helps us kind of keep track of everything, all the YouTube videos, all of that. And like I said, it's a new process for us. And so we just have to test something and if it doesn't work, then we refine it and we refine it. And it takes a lot of time to do that. And it takes a lot of like thinking and going back and forth and all of that. Um, but I, we settled on a process that we're both comfortable with. And so now what I actually have to do, I can show you guys, let me show you actually like a closer look it might not focus but basically we have all of these little tasks so all of the YouTube videos and then from there all of the IGTV videos that we cut up basically what I need to do with all of these is just put in my notes of the video timestamps kind of like this one here that you'll see um, of what we need 
changed and updated and all of that. So for me, when I'm first reviewing a YouTube video or anything like that, I like to take a notebook. You guys know I'm a big <laughs> notebook fan. So I take a notebook and just have like all of my notes. Um, and then once I have everything kind of mapped out, then I'll go in and put it into Asana, into our tasks so that our video editor can see that. I tag him on it and then he makes the changes. So that's basically what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take all of these notes that I have, put them into the task, um, tag our editor, and then yeah, wait for him to edit everything. But it's really exciting. We have all of our content done and mapped out. It's not like, approved in like the final version but it's all like edited and filmed there's just like minor adjustments that we need to make now but it's cool it's really cool to see it all come together and just like i don't know this has been an idea me and sebastian have had and it's been like something that's like up in our brains of how it's meant to work and then to see it like come together and come to life and be like <laughs> what we imagined is really really cool um it's a lot yeah i mean you just like when you're dreaming of things you forget like little details and little things like that so that's what we're like ironing out right now but hopefully um you know as the years go on and the clients that we have this will be able to be refined and we hope to like scale this up and um all of that so anyway that is like a quick little update i do have to finish this before um i go pick up the groceries at one and so yeah, I'm going to play some music, knock out these notes, and um, get this stuff all edited. You're kidding. This is fresh off the press. I have to go get our groceries, and I'm just having a crazy brain day. And what did you say to me? Go get yourself a coffee. <laughs> You're kidding! You Do you want one? No. I'm okay. You're a freak. Our new little starbs. I wish Dutch Bros wasn't so far. Where is it at? Let's get one on Friday when we go to, to the pool. Okay, I'll just go to Starbs. Actually, I had coffee today. Yeah. Maybe but I'll get iced tea. Maybe not. I love you! We've been having a busy day. I was telling them, like, this is just what's crazy about our first client. What are you doing to my back? Your back is so I know. I me. used to have, um, I'll just have a little chat uh, before I get my groceries, but I used to have a monitor screen when I worked from home and when I was with my old company and it was just like the best. Like it just like lifts your head and like helps me stand up straight and now just having like my little laptop, like I'm so hunched over that by the end of the day, I just feel it so much in my back. And I try to be conscious of when I'm hunching, but it's like, I just, I don't know. You just like get in the mood and you get comfortable and you're just like working, working. Um, so I think I need to get something because I miss it. But, you should. And my back is like not good. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm going to go get the groceries then. And then we back home and get right back into it. I'm home from the store and figured I would do a little grocery haul. We didn't need a lot, like I mentioned, but I thought I'd share some of our staples. Picked up some red grapes. I love to make like chicken salad sandwiches for lunch and throw those in there. They're nice to snack on, you know the deal. Um, a cucumber, love to snack on this. I picked this up some peaches. I thought that that would be nice to have as like a new fruit. Um, Sebastian loves bananas, so we picked him up some of those. Lemons, I'm always using lemons. You guys know, <laughs> we always need eggs. It like freaks me out. So we got one thing of eggs. And then this is our favorite bread, the Dave's Killer Bread, the 21 whole grains and seeds. We love it. And then I thought it was so funny. I finally went to Smith's. Well, like I ordered my groceries through Smith's and I know that they have the Purely Elizabeth granola that I love and that I always tell you guys about. And so it was one of those things yesterday when I was ordering online where they didn't, like I couldn't add it to my cart. I have to like ship it to my house, which, I guess I could have done, but I just figured that was like another step I didn't want to take. So we're still going strong with our bare naked granola. That's fine. Um, I picked up some more honey for that. And then we had a couple spices we needed. We needed some pepper and Italian seasoning. And then I love to make Jaclyn Hill's ranch recipe, but she has like so many spices in hers and like, I'm sure it's probably better, but this is just super easy to like throw this in here. So 
I have a couple packets of that. And then if you watched my favorites, then you know this purchase was very necessary. I'm very excited to have this, which is also why I didn't go get coffee today. I was really excited to, and I thought I needed it, but then I remembered that I ordered this, and then I remembered that I also ordered cereal. <laughs> so I figured I would save my coffee outing for the pool day if we go on Friday, and yeah, so this stuff is really good. Um, Sebastian loves these sausages, so we got him more of that. And then I thought that they like accidentally gave this to us, but actually Sebastian like ordered it without me noticing, I guess. But this is super good, we do love this. It's been a while since we've had it, but it's nice to have, especially right now when you're at home a lot, it makes for like a really good popcorn movie night. So we got that. And then I've just been on an oatmeal kick again, and I really, I know the instant like, isn't the best, but I love it. So we just got a pack of that. And then <laughs> Sebastian wanted more of his cereal. This is his favorite, the Life Original. And then I was like craving this. So I don't know. I don't know what went wrong with us, but we needed some of that. And then we just got mouthwash and cotton rounds. I did forget to get kitchen spray, but that's our little haul. So not too much. I think it was like 80 something, so not bad. And um, yeah, I'm gonna put this all away. I know this was technically not what this video was about, but it's a day in my life. And I consider my job <laughs> grocery shopping. That's part of my job. And um, so yeah, I thought I would just share. It's always fun to see what people get. So I'm gonna put this all away and then I think I'm gonna take a little mental break, have a bowl of cereal, watch a YouTube, <laughs> and then we'll get back into the swing of things. But I kind of just wanna chill for a tiny bit. <laughs> Sebastian's going to the gym and I told him that I'm going to watch one YouTube video and then get back to work. Stop! And look at what he did to me. <laughs> Stop! Lift up your feet. <laughs> You're the best. I'm so comfy. This is so bad. Are you comfy? Are you going to fall asleep? Oh yeah. Okay, sick. No. To hide presents, and I need to go get the binder. Good morning, everybody. It's clearly the next day. I didn't finish vlogging yesterday um, because <laughs> I have a good reason. Also, ignore the mess. I can't even tell you how messy my kitchen is right now. And stay tuned for a clean with me because it's needed but just ignore that my couch is undone but i needed to come on here and end the vlog and say goodbye but last night i told you guys <laughs> that i wanted to have a bowl of cereal and a little bit of a nap which i did and it was amazing but the cereal oh boy i got my smith's grocery pickup and it worked really well they forgot our milk that we wanted so we only had whole milk which i drink a little bit of that in my black tea and i literally just do like a tiny little splash when I do that um and so that's all I had and I really wanted my cocoa pebbles and so I had a bowl of cereal full of whole milk and I cannot express the stomach ache I had and it's not even like I feel like when people think that like you have a stomach ache like you just have to go to the bathroom and it's like not that at all it doesn't send me to the bathroom it just like cramps my entire stomach sorry it cramps my stomach so bad that it like comes up to my neck and i have to be like hunched over and so it was so bad it was so terrible so i had a bowl of cereal he instantly got <laughs> sick as well he's not as bad with dairy as i am but even the whole milk like was not good for him so i was out for a little bit and then i ended up um going to my mom's house which was really fun and just so needed it was my mom and my older sister my little sister cassidy was at her friend's house and so it was just like we chatted about everything like our favorite music videos and just like life and marriage and all that thing like i'm just so grateful that i have them to chat with and talk to and they're truly like my best friends even though they're my family we just have so much fun together and it was really really fun um i didn't vlog anything there just because i knew it was gonna be like um i don't know not really relevant to this vlog since it's like a work day vlog. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to finish that off of like yesterday I ended work um, at like 2.30 and that's usually like not normal for me. Most of the time during the week I 
work until like six or seven or whatever um just kind of depends um but when we have plans i'm really thankful that i'm able to kind of adjust my schedule to be able to accommodate to those plans um obviously like <laughs> i took a nap which was like not planned but sometimes like you know it's just nice to be able to know that like i work i did like my top priority things which is why that to-do list is so important to put like your top priority things because there were still things that i could have done yesterday like projects um that still needed to get done but they weren't like top priority so i felt comfortable enough walking away and i think if you work from home or work for yourself that's the most important thing is your house just becomes like your forever office and there's a lot of times where me and Sebastian like have nothing to do so we'll just like work which i think is good like we really are motivated and you know enjoy what we do so we like working but it's not healthy to work 24 7 and so i found that like putting those top priority things on my to-do list and knowing that if i get those done it's okay to walk away and not feel guilty because it's just it's not worth it to make yourself feel guilty and if you have to like readjust your schedule one day work a little extra um to be able to get those things done i think that that's totally doable i it's not something that should happen like all of the time um because then you just get into bad habits of like putting things off and procrastination and all of that but for the most part like it's fine to rearrange and so i don't know that's kind of like my spiel for that but um like i said every day is super different today is like another day where i have like youtube specific things i have to do i have to film a video and edit and all of that so i kind of just adjust my schedule again so that i can get youtube done during the day because obviously like i need the daylight i like to film like kind of first thing in the morning in the day um and all of that so then i can work on it later and then stuff with like spread social um falls in between that and that's totally doable and fine and so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'm hoping that i haven't like watched any of the footage back so i'm hoping that like i shared enough information that was like interesting and helpful um i know on my instagram i did a q a um all about I guess it was like random <laughs> just all about everything but i did get asked like money specific things and although i've like i've mentioned before youtube to me is a full-time job but i don't get paid for it so i'm very like i think of it as full-time i dedicate my hours to it um and all of that but it doesn't make me any money yet but i've done so much research on how to make money online and obviously me and sebastian are on that track to make money online and so it's very exciting and i cannot wait for the day where it does come um but i thought that where was i going with this but um i just I know that someone asked um, me to do a video on it. So I think that will come um, within the coming weeks. Um, I will share a lot of resources that I've learned because especially nowadays, like there is so much out there and you have a skill and you have something that you can bring to someone and that you can monetize. Like I truly believe that. And so although it hasn't happened for me yet, I don't wanna feel like a hypocrite making that video. So it's not about like how to make money because like I said, I still have not yet but i think that conversation is fun and it's interesting and i love learning about it and i think that we can learn about it together so i kind of wanted to do a video on that and also talk about um my money that i'm making with specialists because i've had questions about that and how that works because it's confusing and it's different and i think that will be helpful so that'll be like a similar video that i'll make and then if you guys want like how i do youtube and specific youtube work videos that let me know in the comments because that's something that's a totally separate video because it takes just the same amount of time as my job with fashion like it's crazy so um i would love to do a video on that as well if you guys would like that so just let me know all your thoughts down in the comments hopefully you enjoyed this um hopefully yeah it was helpful and you could see a little bit of what i do as a brand manager always different it's always changing um and it will continue to as we build out this business and add new clients and all of that but it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of freedom which is what we've worked for and what we love and it's exciting to share that with you and it's exciting to see it like evolve and all of that so with that being said, I'm going to close out the vlog and get started <laughs> cleaning this mess. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you here for the next video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!